When loaded cargo aircraft leave Papa Air Base Hungary to their downrange destination, it's all thanks to the aerial port technicians. They pick up the cargo from their supply section and bring it over by truck, by forklift, and by hand. They load everything from armored vehicles to airline passenger seats onto C-17 cargo planes. The troops there can agree. It's a physically demanding job. Where are you going to go in another job and push a pallet that weighs 9,500 pounds for the change itself, the 25,000 pound change that you're tying down to the floor? It takes a toll. <laughs> There's no doubt that the job takes endurance, but it also takes an open-minded approach because the head of the aerial port isn't American. Chief Hall, he's, uh, he's from the Netherlands, he's Dutch. Uh, so it's a little bit different working for uh, not an American uh, senior NCO. Most of the U.S. personnel that gets in is fully trained or has already um, a previous assignment as an aerial porter, even not everyone. Uh, as for the non-U.S. Uh, members, uh, they mostly come in blank. So being able to take what I've learned over the years in the United States Air Force and teach them and uh, get them spun up. It's, it's a great feeling, you know. <laughs> but whether they're spun up or not, every member of the team is an asset in the process of getting the cargo loaded and strapped down into the C-17s. For us here in Aerial Port, we, uh, you know, working at different hours on weekends, you know, we spend, we spend a lot of time together time that they use to share valuable on-the-job experience with each other and also build friendships that bring the nations closer together. Senior Airman Roman Weber, Papa Air Base, Hungary.